Now getting free cars for me has most of the time been easy. When I was a young man, you know, back in my late teens when I first started to look for cars just to joyride, I usually just drove around and saw something sitting in someone's laneway, covered in leaves, flat tires, just, you know, it looked like it's been sitting there a long time. Another great way is if you see a lot of snow on one that never gets shoveled off. That's telling you, telling you that that car may be unloved and ready for a free donation. Or sometimes you might have to pay a hundred bucks, who knows. Right now the scrap prices are low, so to get one for a hundred bucks is actually too much money. Most scrap yards won't pay that much, neither will auto wreckers, unless it's a really big heavy car or a later model, more valuable one. So it's a good idea in the winter time just to drive around and see what cars are sitting in laneways in your neighborhood or your city, whatever, that the snow never gets shoveled off of. Then when spring comes, write those addresses down and go knock on their doors. Of course, if you're pretty young, most people won't trust giving you their car. They're going to think that you're going to terrorize the neighborhood with it get in an accident, wrap it around a hydro pole, kill somebody, and the police are going to come looking for the registered owner, which is, of course, maybe not you, and they might be a bit worried. So it's best to go with someone older, or just send an older person by themselves, and to just tell them, I'm looking for this particular kind of car just to use for parts. I've noticed you haven't used your car for a long time. Maybe you just want to get rid of it out of the driveway. I'll get rid of it for you for free. And if you want, I can prove that the ownership's changed over so that you're not liable. Well, then you just get the ownership from the person. Go down to the ministry office, change over the title, come back, show them the titles in someone else's name other than theirs, and you're off. Well, next thing you got to do is maybe beat the rims with a sledgehammer to get the wheels unseized, bring an air pig and blow up the tires, but put a chain on it or something and drag it out of there legally and take it someplace to do your thing with it. The other way I would get cars, which is I can do any time today, is you just go to the back lot behind used dealers. They always have usually a dozen of them or more before they get rid of them, which were driving or running fine when they came to the dealer, but they're just too old or rusty or whatever that, or high miles, that it's not worth reselling. Nobody would even want to consider buying them. So what happens is these dealers let them build up to usually over a dozen cars and then they just call the auto wreckers and the auto wreckers gives them a set price for the cars usually seventy five dollars or whatever and they take the whole pile of them. Well if you go there sometimes you can pick and choose and get a few cars maybe as low as seventy five dollars but if you want to buy a group of them or the whole clump sometimes they'll sell them all to you and the auto wrecker who's going to get them is never going to know the difference. So try it. One time I did that with a dealer and he gave me 14 free cars. And that's how I got my Ford truck, my diesel. It was like, oh my God, I, I could have taken 19, but I was picking and choosing. I didn't take a couple of the crappier ones. Case now that I have an, in my case, now that I have a reputation of terrorizing and doing crazy things, enjoy riding cars for the last 27 years, I get them just offered to me. People just drive into my driveway and say, here's my keys, here's my car, just give me the plates back and don't do anything illegal, just take it to your farm, you can do whatever you want. And Most of the times those are cars that I maintain for people for years. So they would rather hear a story or see a video about what happened to their car than know it just went to an auto wreckers, got stripped down and crushed, or to a scrapyard. So the 50 or 100 bucks they're losing is no big deal. The, a, a memory is forever. Even several of the cars I've got recently came from YouTubers. Of course, they like to come out and destroy their own cars and have their 15 minutes of fame. That's fine with me. If any YouTubers have a car and they want to trash it and kill it, risk their life and not sue me, bring your own body bag and come to Dave's farm for a good time. Cool.